the NHS is facing unprecedented winter pressures. Thousands of patients die waiting for beds in hospitals. Concerning pressures on NHS mental health staff. These are all symptoms of a national health services under severe pressure. So what causes this pressure and is there anything we can do to help predict and prevent it? I'm Emily Thomas and I'm going to be presenting the project that I've worked on with the NHS Bristol, North Somerset and South Gloucestershire. So while the headlines we opened with show the worst case scenarios, the reality of severe system pressure means that around 3 million are waiting over 18 weeks for treatment, 30% of people um, going to the emergency room aren't seen within four hours, and ambulances are taking five times longer to respond to 999 calls. So while all of these are very serious concerns about our health system, it's these last two that we're using to um, define severe system pressure. So specifically, A&E wait times over seven hours from a decision to admit until the admission, and ambulance response times over 10 minutes to 999 calls for conditions such as stroke and heart attack. So the aim of my project was therefore to use AI to develop an early warning system for predicting severe system pressure. This will enable targeted intervention to best alleviate strain on services and improve healthcare. So how can we do that? I started by developing a probabilistic forecast model that learned from the historical data of our two pressure metrics. And this helped to validate how well it predicted future values. Once these baseline models have been set up, I then expanded the model by adding in additional variables to try and improve the accuracy of the predictions. So first, I looked at trends in seasonality, which meant looking at patterns across periods of time, for example, days, weeks, and months. This can help predict similar patterns across those time points in the future. I also had access to internal data set containing metrics collected by the BNSSG. So variables such as the number of active 999 calls, hospital admissions, and the number of patients waiting to be offloaded. These were added to the model to see whether they can help to predict severe system pressure over the next 10 days. So first we can look at how well the A&E model performs. In blue here, we have the model validation, while in pink, we see the forecast for the next 10 days. The um, mean absolute percentage error of 17.3% um, suggests that the model does well at predicting A&E wait times. So you can see a similar thing here for the ambulance response times um, with a 10 day prediction and a percentage error of 30.7%. This um, fit is slightly less good than the a &E variable, but overall, um, these models provide a really good outcome in demonstrating how severe system pressure can be modeled, considering that it's the first time this has been done. Finally, to determine the overall probability of severe system pressure, we use the probabilities of each value for both models appearing above their respective thresholds. So for example, above 420 minutes for A&E and above 10 minutes for the ambulance variable um, and multiply these together. So what have we learned? While we can use many different variables to train the model, my results show that some proved much more important in improving the prediction ac accuracy. So for example, we found that modeling trends such as midweek and evening peaks improve the forecast prediction. Additionally, the improvement was furthered when adding in the live variables, such as the number of ambulances en route to hospital. This proved to be the strongest predictor for future trends of both SSP measures. This is interesting um, because it affects both upstream and downstream processes. As more ambulances en route to hospitals will increase the pressure on A&E departments, but also slow down the available response to current emergency calls. So during this project, I have developed an, a first of its kind early warning system model to predict, for, su, to predict periods of severe system pressure. This proof of concept is a great step forward in showing how we can use AI tools to better prepare health systems for periods of strain. Additionally, understanding which factors are most explanative of system pressure and in what time frame helps to form targeted action plans such as increasing on-call ambulance staff during peak periods to mitigate the impact upstream to ambulance response times and downstream to A&E wait times. With these predictions in hand, hospitals will be better able to deploy resources in an efficient manner, meaning that patients may no longer deteriorate waiting for care, improving patient experience and achieving better healthcare for all of us. <laughs>